um this week capcom and capcom oh man i, I gotta talk fire. about i gotta talk about capcom man because for a company that <laughs> i know almost, what you're gonna talk for about a, for a company well, what about me let me give some praise right because for a what company you, what that are you gonna talk about so for a company that's that was about to get bought out at one point they were already they were about to go bankrupt at one point right there was a time a couple years back where they were kind of going through some financial issues and it was been stated it's been talked about right um yeah. years ago now for them to be able to say you know we're not selling we're keeping our ips and we're gonna make it work right and for them to come out with street fighter 5 and people that down that game at the beginning because it wasn't launched to its fullest capacity you look at the game now so amazing the support that that game has had over the years great it's amazing right ubisoft's kind of been doing the same thing with rainbow six right it came off very just bare bones and now you look at it as a full game that has so much to offer and not only that but has such a great community it's built such a great community over time because of the support that it's had um same thing like i said with street fighter so with all that being said, you can yeah. see them coming out with Devil May Cry, kind of putting together some new releases, um, putting together this whole package with Resident Evil, kind of re redoing Resident Evil and kind of bringing that to right now. The big announcements is Resident Bro, Evil has they, came. They disrespect, let me stop you there for that specific topic. For one sec, I just want to say that they're disrespecting the horror community. There's a lot of other great horror series, but they just keep on palling. The games on top of each other and saying we're the best we're the best we're the best non-stop it's crazy i'm gonna talk about it in a second but yeah, yes props and, to uh, that and the thing is and the thing is too what makes this even so much amazing never mind that they're remaking a lot of this resident evil stuff right because resident evil is such a great franchise and it has so much to offer when it comes to horror it's never just mind just horror because it started shifting a little bit at one point to like more action-packed and 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 so giving you both horror and action and mystery and puzzle solving and a little bit of everything so you get a little bit of everything with resident evil um and there is such a great series right but with vr vr2 coming out and vr being such a big thing for the future because it's a horror game because they're able to play you know, give you perspective in first person so not just third person it kind of has some you know resident evil 7 was all first person and kind of give you that mm -hmm. silent hill vibe but not really it was resident evil it, it does such a it's, it's so amazing what they've been able to do with that franchise and being able to bring this to vr brings horror to to its realest form right because you can like when if i don't know if you guys ever got a chance to kind of get your hands on vr and actually experience it but me I'm, I'm like even without vr i'm already like shaking up right because i for me and horror is no we don't mix bro because i i get <laughs> I, I get jumpy real quick and my thing is, is I I don't like that feeling, that little that crawly, weird feeling on on my back, right? So <laughs> I hate that. So to be able to 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 be able to play this in VR is even worse because it's even more scary, it's even more crazy, right? So I think uh, I think it coming to VR is gonna bring a, a it's gonna bring a new demographic because you get people like my wife, for instance, right? My wife doesn't really play video games. She's not. She's never really been big into video games. I tried putting her to play. Forget what game it was. Um, heavy rain. Heavy rain. No, heavy rain. Yeah, at one point, it's an easy game, right? But she just couldn't do it. And just what? I looked and she fell asleep. <laughs> Yeah, but she could bake you a good cake. She could make exactly. some amazing food. Exactly. So she's she not, it's not for everybody. Like a pro. But I tell you this, right? She was really into the VR. And we, we, we got her, I got her to play some games on the VR and she loved it. She's actually like, oh, when are you going to get, when are you going to get a, uh, the, the VR? And she wants me to get one. I told her I'm going to hold off because I want to wait for the, the second one to come out. And then I'll go and I grab it and we can enjoy that. But I have a feeling, right. and she loves horror too. So you know, a, a little bit. So when I get her into when we when I get the VR too, I will be playing down on the stream, and I'll, maybe I'll talk to my wife see if she wants to get on camera. But we'll go ahead, and if she's willing to get on camera, we'll go ahead and we'll record that, and I will be streaming that, and it'll be uh, it'll be a yeah. good time. And I just to see the jumpiness and how people react to this. I want to get my wife too, my imaginary wife. Because I would, because what I would love to do, and this is, and this is a side note, what I would love to do is be able to take like a game like Resident Evil that's really creepy and scary, scariest game that Hell we can yeah. find on VR, and get a bunch of people trying it. So I got my brother, my wife, a bunch of people that are willing to try, it, and what, and you guys well, out that there. Game not, not, that so, game is not that game. So because so, no. what I want to do you is get people crazy. 
So my so my thing is that when, and anybody out there too that are, are looking to get a VR and is looking up um um trying to play this game and put it on camera. If you guys are willing to go ahead and send me some clips, I'll go ahead and I would I would love to put a trailer together of every all these crazy scary <laughs> jumping moments uh happening with this VR and these scary moments in these horror games. I would love to put that together. So if you guys are out there and you guys are brave enough to put yourself on camera when when VR two comes out and put just and, and and be able to send me your reactions to some of these scary horror games like Resident Evil or anything else you guys feel will get you that jumpy feeling. Go ahead, send it to me. I would definitely love to put together some type of trailer of some jumpiness happening because it's just crazy and it does feel real. It it feels real. So as my thing is, is that it's gonna be interesting and I'm excited, very excited about it. And I'm very excited what Capcom yeah. has done over the years. Proud of them. And, uh, and let I'm, me talk about them real quick for you. I'm excited. So everything that they revealed. First of all, the Monster Hunter is a big game. A lot of people love that series. They announced that they have uh, a whole new thing for Monster Hunter. It's yeah. an expansion called Sunbreak. That's a big one. And then they have, um, what's it called? Dragon's Dogma. I have no idea what that's about, but we'll see. The yeah. Resident Evil vill Village is getting a new story DLC, plus it's coming to, like what you just said, the PSVR 2 also. So you're getting two for the price of one, and you're going to probably be able to play the whole game in, in, um, in the VR. So that's crazy. On top of that, they showcase Resident Evil 4 Remake. When I say remake, it's not like just a quick remaster where they put paint on it. They redid the whole thing to modern graphics, modern gameplay, and it looks incredible. That game is going to be tight. Now, on top of that, they gave everybody next-gen updates for Resident Evil Biohazard, uh, Resident Evil 2, and Resident Evil 3, basically 4K versions of these games that you'll be able to play on the PlayStation 5 and so on. So that was their showcase. They did a really good job to, to bring it out and I think, you know, they're impressive, to say the least, with what they've been able to do. And on top of that, you have uh, your favorite. Uh, what do you think about Street Fighter? If we're going to talk about it for a second from Capcom. Me? Street Fighter right now was, I, like, I, like I mentioned last part, is uh, one of my, the biggest announcements, announcements that they have had over, the, over this, this whole, as actually every reveal that's happened so far. It's probably mm -hmm. my most my my hypest moment and my greatest moment because I it was about time and I know that they were supporting Street Fighter Five for some time and I know it was going to be ending around this time because they the mm -hmm. amount of time they said it would be supporting it so I was kind of expecting something and but it to be fresh and new like what they're putting out it's exciting and I'm actually looking forward to actually looking forward to it so that's like I said will be. Um, my most anticipated game thus far would be Street Fighter, Street Fighter 6. By the way, guys, you're watching Agree to Disagree. Uh, in a couple minutes, we're going to go into the Agree to Disagree segment of the game. We're asking questions and having a debate about if we agree or disagree on them. And they're the big topics of the week. We'll try to uh, focus on that. You can share that on social media through any platform that we have whether it's Cloudy Chip TV or Mad Gamer INC, ask us questions and put in your input and thoughts. And when the week comes, we'll end up bringing you on the show with, with your question. Let's just say if it's if relevant to the current week and it's relevant to gaming, we will present it. So get ready to rock out with us. And we're just getting started. We kind of just casually started off talking about random games and random yeah. things. Um, Capcom's show was on the 13th of this week. That's why it's a part of the show. Uh, they did that on Monday, and they showcased all of that stuff. It was exciting, and I was actually impressed yeah. by them. Yeah, and what is most impressive, and if you, you know, I'm, like I'm showing right now on screen, Dumb Revealing Guile, they revealed a good amount of the cast already. Uh, if you guys have, did not know that, go check it out. Um, on, you know, Google it. It's, it's everywhere. But, uh, you know... Whoa. Being able to have the amount of cast that they're revealing, um, this game, it's like, uh, I feel like it's well on its way to probably be released. If I, if I had to put a date on it, I will say sometime mid, early next year. 
I will say sometime around May, April, May of next year, this game will be released. And that's my thought. I don't know when it, when the release date is. It says coming 2023, but the way that it looks, it looks like it's well on its way to be revealed. I mean, released soon because of everything they've shown so far. Um, kind of where they're at with the with the process. It seems like they're kind of almost we're kind of at that polishing, just kind of polishing things up a bit. Stage and and I have a feeling that they might end up having something ready for us by May. If I had to put a put a guess, if I had to put a guess out there, I don't believe this game will be coming out in the holiday season because it is a fighting game. Um, typically, fighting games, for what I've noticed over the years, they typically will come out sometime early in the year. So like first quarter second quarter they try not to compete with anything big titles coming out in the holiday season because of the fighting game community right um, fighting games are you know they're they're not gonna they you know they won't compete with like a call of duty or like any other big hitters that will be coming in out in the holiday season so they try to stay away from that market i believe um for what i've noticed and so i can kind of if i had to put my money on it i will say sometime before the summer before summer of next year mark my words and this is me going ahead giving y'all guys my insight of how i feel where oh, we when man. we're going to be getting it and that and hold on man this guy turning into an insider so I, like me now he got no all time out but this is me giving my oh. as, this is me giving my thought because prediction. my prediction, prediction that's my prediction on it because of what i've how i've been like watching some of this stuff and like how and and yeah every time like every time like Mortal Kombat comes out or some some big like Street Fighter came out last time, every time it came out it's always been around. It's never really been in holiday season. It's always been sometime in the middle and like the beginning of the year. So I can kind of see that happening. Um, yeah. so that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. So mark my words. I'm gonna tweet that. I'm put mark it out. Mark. <laughs> it right now. <laughs> but you I. Tweet it. <laughs> but I had, but if I had to guess, that's what that's my prediction. You know, let me know what you guys think and watch our prediction out there. So that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, feel free to hit us up on social media. You know, I'm very active. I tend to engage on on different platforms that I'm on and have these conversations every day. I actually lost a friend this week. I know I lost a friend because we had a big debate, which we're going to talk about later. And I wish he's watching and he gets into the comments and talks. Because I'm sure I, I upset him very bad. You can tell when someone's upset when they're saying things to try to dish you and it doesn't make sense. And it's just like a, a rebuttal. Well, you know what? Your feet smell. And you're like, what are you doing? Like, all right. What's that got to do with the game? Like, <laughs> and so oh, he kind of came man. at me and I feel bad because it was like, I was just on Twitter being a Twitter, you know, like just one of those, how would I say? I like to poke conversations and and continue checking them out and sometimes it feels like i'm trolling somebody but really i just want to keep on discussing it and uh he got upset because i kept on posting data and actual evidence and information and i said look man my opinion has nothing to do with what i'm saying look at the stats look at the grid look at the info and yeah, yeah. he just ranted on me and went off so i want to apologize to him publicly but the reason i'm saying this is because there's a lot of diverse opinions and and there's nothing wrong with anybody's opinion you can eat an orange an apple a grape you can you can even eat sand that's your prerogative i mean i don't recommend it but whatever you feel is what you feel i'm not judging you <clears throat> and i'm just telling you what i like or what you like and then we can talk about data stats information on numbers and things like that and don't ever get offended by it it's just a combo and nobody you know is here to on court there's no case it's not a test it's not what he's about right or wrong that's what i love about this name of the show and the theme that me and Kali came together with was agree to disagree because that's just a, an example of like hey we're not always going to agree me and him are like brothers but i'm not going to agree with everything he says and last week was an example and today will be another example i promise from the topics we have at hand i can guarantee guarantee <laughs> yeah we won't have the really good like different perspectives a lot of the time so sometimes we be thinking i like and sometimes it's like no bro no it's, it's, you're wrong and it's like 
So that's why we, we have really good insight and good perspective and we try to keep an open mind when it comes to a lot of things. And that's one of the biggest reasons why we kind of came up with something like this, a show where we could kind of talk, have conversations, bring you guys, get you guys involved in some of the things that we be talking about privately and kind of bring this to you guys so that we can actually have a sure. nice conversation. So another thing- Yeah, and I'll just point that out, justify myself. I have a strong opinion, right? If I like apples, I like apples. And I'm gonna tell you why apples are good. They're nutritious. They give you different uh, vitamins, minerals, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. As, and I'll give my case. And if you're saying you want Starburst, I'm not going to argue with you, but I'll say that's not as healthy as an apple. And that's a fact. So then all of a sudden, my opinion that I like apples might confuse you with the fact that it's healthier. And now we're arguing, but I'm trying to make a fact point about the reasons why I like something also. Yeah. So then people tend to take my opinions as the factor of the fact part that I threw out, and it's not. So that's where agree to disagree is going to get spicy because I tend to give my opinion and then throw a couple facts in there. And then people think like, oh, he thinks everything he says is fact. No, I don't. Only the pieces of actual data, information, studies, or whatever are the fact side. And then my opinion, oranges, apples, grapes, whatever I like is what I like. Yeah, yeah. We'll get into it. 